tell you what, that, that, that Pride of Villa account still kicking off in the comments. It's all right. Just let him crack on. <laughs> uh, what else have you got? I think, it's, it, I think it's funny because he's actually tried to say Pride of the Midlands, but he's it's like he's, <laughs> he's a bit thick. He's yeah. Villa. <laughs> it, it, what? Maybe he's the Pride of Villa. Who knows? Hi guys, welcome back to the Pride Villa. Today we are doing the Leeds versus Aston Villa preview. Um, I was meant to be doing another video this week, but I just I don't know. I just I just didn't get around to doing. So if you're gonna like the video, please subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 300 subscribers. And if you could like it as well, would be nice. And if you comment, I you know I respond to everyone who comments on the channel. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So of course, the last time we went against Leeds, we actually lost 3-0. I think it was three goals from Patrick Bamford in the second half. Um, to be honest, I think we looked pretty good in the first half. We were just lacking, obviously, the finishes, uh, which led us to lose 3-0. Obviously, they got that first goal, and I think we lost that edge straight away. But, you know, I think it was one of the only games that we've actually had in this season where we really actually deserve to lose. So, you know, it's just respect to them, really. Uh, but last three games that we've had, obviously we've won against Arsenal 1-0, drew against Brighton 0-0 and actually lost to Leicester 2-1 at home. Um, people you know, online saying it was Grealish because we lost Grealish. It really wasn't. I think it was just the quality. I think it was missing in the first half that really lost us that game. Uh, it probably should have been a 1-1 or something, but it was the lack of the, the, the quality really. We just, you know, it took Dean at the, the second half obviously when they all went into the tunnel uh, to really like go into all of our players and you know Suing clicked in one of the reds and obviously Troy got the goal but um, you know people going online saying Grealish is the reason he really isn't it's just it was a lack of quality in the first half really but yeah obviously Leeds they've just come off a win against Southampton 3-0 which is really good by the way um, a loss to Wolves probably should have been 0-0 and obviously a loss to Arsenal 4-2 so um, yeah the thing with Leeds though, they haven't actually touched relegation, like they haven't been in that sort of part. They're just really, they're sort of lingering in the, the middle of the table. So obviously that's really good of a start to getting back in the Premier League. So obviously next season they could probably talk about Europa League, which I think um, if they get the right signings in the summer, they're, they're probably on their way to be honest. So obviously on this channel, uh, in our previews, we do go into players to look out for and obviously score predictions. So players... Uh, that we need to look out for from the Leeds obviously would be Pamford. Um, I think he's their main goal scorer right now. Obviously Rafinha, Phillips is really good as well. And obviously Dallas in defence has really been piping up recently, I think. Anyway, I haven't really been watching Leeds that much. But I know Dallas is a really good defender at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really confident at all. But um, players that Leeds need to look out for. Uh, if there is any Leeds fans watching, um, obviously we're, we're missing Grealish. So obviously the, the only players you got to look out for, Traore. He comes out of nowhere with goals and assists. Uh, you don't really expect it to be honest. We didn't expect that goal against uh, Leicester last game, but he, he still scored. Um, obviously Watkins, he's still on form. Even though he didn't get a goal last game, he's still on form. Uh, I think he has around 12 goals right now, so I mean, it's, it's really good. Obviously, last season in the Championship, when he was with Brentford, he got around 24, 26. So, uh, yeah, I think he'll get around 20 goals this season, to be honest. Um, obviously, new names coming up, Samson, Ramsey up. I think Ramsey is definitely someone, you know, if we keep, if we actually start him or something, I do believe he will get that goal. He hasn't got a goal yet, which is really weird, by the way. The way he plays, and he, he's really good. I think he re he had that one good chance against uh, Chelsea that he should have actually scored, but other than them, um, you know, it just it hasn't really stuck to him. But he, he's really a decent player, to be honest. Of course, Martinez. Um, personally, I think he's the best goalkeeper in the league. Um, you know, he obviously kept us in the game against Brighton, um, Wolves, I'll say, and you know, it's just it's just been amazing. Like I, I still can't believe we've got him, to be honest. But yeah, it's really good to have him. Going into this game though, I am really, I don't know, I feel like it's sort of 50-50, but it's just not because I feel like Leeds are just, you know, obviously we're missing Grealish, we're missing that creativity. Uh, Leeds are very dominant teams, so obviously they will take advantage of that and you can't really blame them. Um, but yeah, it's obviously at their home, obviously there's no home advantage anymore, but still it's sort of, 
you know, it's some sort of advantage, I'd say, still. But yeah, I'm just, I don't think I'm confident. But I wasn't confident against Southampton, but we still won that 1 0. Um, you know, it should have probably been 1 1 or something, but still, we won 1 0. But um, yeah, Leeds is definitely going to be a real hard game, to be honest. So, of course, next we are going to do our score prediction. So, from a neutral point, point of view, uh, I think a neutral would definitely say it's going to come 1 1 or a 2 2. Uh, maybe high scoring, 1 1 2 2, or even a 3 3. I think a point from a neutral point of view for, for this game would definitely be something they say. Um, it's because, like, obviously, we're missing Grealish. If we had Grealish, we probably would be the favourites to win this. But, um,. You know, without him, what we've shown in that second half of last game, we could definitely get some against Leeds right now. So, yeah, I think a 1-1 one, one, and 2-2 two, two would be something a neutral would say. But my personal opinion, and this will probably shock a lot of people, I'm saying 2-1 to Villa. And um, I know we don't... This is the thing with Villa. We haven't actually won this season um, when we've conceded a goal, except the game against Liverpool and won 7-2. And all the other wins we've had, it's just been clean sheets, like 3 nils, 2 nils, 1 nils. But, um, yeah, it's, just, it's a weird thing to say, because obviously everyone likes clean sheets, but I want to win a game when we concede a goal. Like, we need to know that we can still win a game when we concede a goal. So, for instance, when we went against uh, West Ham, when we were 2-1 two two down, um, who else? Uh, obviously, when we went against Leeds, yeah, we lost three 0 But when we went one 0 down, we should have just kept our heads high. But we just, you know, we just lost it. Obviously, we lost three 0 But um, yeah, I just want to get back to that mindset when we can actually win a game when we've conceded a goal. It's, it is bizarre saying that, but it's still like we can't be thinking, oh, we've, we've conceded a goal. We're just gonna go for the draw. That's how it seems sometimes. Um, for instance, when we went against Chelsea, obviously we went one 0 down. We did get that goal, but we could have got another because obviously we were in that bad form. But yeah, I'm saying two one to the Villa. That should put us on around 39 points, I'd say. So obviously hitting the 40 mark, which is really nice because obviously last season we were only on 35 points altogether, just about staying up. So I hope you liked the video, guys. I know that um, intro it was a bit of banter. I was just watching. Uh, I think his name's Bromie Joe. Uh, live stream. He was obviously live streaming the Norwich game. Everyone knew they were going to lose that. I kept saying the chat three one, and uh, it actually happened at the end, which was really funny. And uh, yeah, if you're going to like the video, guys, please subscribe. We are trying to get to 300 subscribers. And yeah, up the villa with the pride villa. We'll see you in that instant match reaction.